So how effective are those programs that Karina highlighted, distributing sunscreen for free? I spoke about that with Dr. Len Lichtenfeld. He's the Deputy Chief Medical Officer for the American Cancer Society. Well, it's an interesting trend. It's, it's not very common today. It happens to be gathering some steam, shall we say. And whether it makes a difference in terms of the incidence of cancers like melanoma uh, is an unknown. But what we do know is that it reminds people of the importance of using sunscreen uh, and using sunscreen properly, which is something that almost everyone doesn't do the right way. What should they be doing? Well, there's, uh, there's some simple rules, slip, slop, slap, and wrap. And the, it refers to slip on a shirt, slap on a hat, slop on the sunscreen, and wrap on some sunglasses. Use lots of it. Follow the labels for UVA and UVB light. Uh, you want broad spectrum. And read the label when it comes to waterproof, understand, or water resistant, rather. And make sure you follow the instructions, because not every sunscreen is the same. The most important message, however, is use it, use it regularly, uh, and use a lot of it. But an important message is that you, you, we rely on sunscreen thinking it's the answer, but unfortunately, sometimes sunscreen gives a false sense of security, and people actually get more sun exposure than they would uh, otherwise if they followed a rule such as you know, staying in the shade as opposed to, shall we say, baking oneself in the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about baking, uh, because uh, you, you, uh, before we started this interview, you had some interesting uh, pieces of information you provided to me uh, about uh, young women, how susceptible they are from a baking standpoint, uh, and that older men uh, also here in the United States are susceptible. Talk to me about that. Well, let's start with the older men, men like myself. And in fact, you may be aware our former president, Jimmy Carter, recently had melanoma, uh, and he's in his 90s. So what happened with older men, particularly older white men, is that when we were younger, we didn't know about sun safety. We certainly didn't have sunscreen, so our exposures were fairly severe. Uh, I myself had that problem as a youth, and now I have skin cancers. I haven't had melanoma. But the reality is the sun burns, particularly when you're young, as a child, as a young person, that is a major risk factor later in life. So one has to be careful for young women it's tanning beds and sun exposure. It's going to the beach, lying you know, uh, out there on the beach, getting get a tan, which is not a sign of health. It's a sign of damage to the skin. But one of the things I also found interesting, having visited with you just uh, briefly, is that uh, it can appear in places we, we don't necessarily consider or think about, uh, this new study pertaining to Asians. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, melanoma does not, is not always related to the sun, but there's, most melanomas we now know from genetic studies are, in fact, related to sun exposure. However, melanomas can crop up on any part of the body. Uh, they can occur, you know, for example, in the soles of the feet. And there was a study recently reported in one of the major medical journals where they looked at melanoma on the feet, a place where most you know, doctors and most patients, most consumers don't think about melanoma, and in fact, they found that most of those melanomas occurred in areas of pressure on the feet. The key message here, however, is melanomas can occur anywhere on your body, including the genitals, for example. So we don't think about that very often, but it's something that can happen under the, the nail beds, under the toenails. You see a change, go see a health professional and get it checked out. Great advice. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you.